One day you visit your grandmother's house. You ring the doorbell and she opens the door with some difficulty. You say happily, "Hi, Grandma," but her reply is, "Who are you?" Your mother senses that something is wrong and quickly rushes your grandma to the hospital. Your grandmother is confused but is calm with no violence. You enter the doctor's office and he says, "I have bad news. Your grandmother has Alzheimer's disease." What is Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's disease is caused by the death of brain cells. There are less nerve cells and connections within the tissues. There are also plaques and tangles found in the middle of the brain cells. Genetics can also be a cause. If someone in your family has had Alzheimer's disease before, you are most likely to inherit the possibility of having it too. The brain is made up of many parts and they all play an important role to help keep you alive. For example, the hypothalamus is responsible for body temperature, emotions, hunger, thirst, appetite, digestion, and sleep. Without the hypothalamus, you keep eating forever and never feel full. Here are some of the many brain functions. Out of the many parts of the brain, the hippocampus is affected when having Alzheimer's disease. It is responsible for storing memories and learning. When the brain is healthy, it is big and has a light color. But when you have Alzheimer's, your brain appears smaller in size and darker in color. This means that your brain is losing some of its parts and is starting to get unhealthy and harmful. There are symptoms that constantly happen in your daily life that can be a big sign to see if you have Alzheimer's disease or not. The memories are forgotten one at a time, so it can sometimes be hard to notice and seem just like a minor thing. But it gradually gets worse over time, leading into great despair for not having found out sooner. Some early signs are forgetting close friends, family members, and conversations. They also tend to place items in random places, get lost in familiar locations, face many challenges that have been accomplished before the disease, gets violent, and have a lack of trust and delusions. You also need to watch out for some risk factors. People who will most likely get Alzheimer's disease are women, people 65 and up, people with Down syndrome, MCI, head damages, and their way of living. Sadly, as of right now, there is no cure, but there are medications that may help slow down the process of the Alzheimer's disease. Five medications that have been approved and accepted by the government are Aricept, Resendine, Namenda, Exelon, and Namzaric. These medications are made based on the level of the Alzheimer's disease they are in and last for only about 6 to 12 months long. Still, they have their side effects such as diarrhea, vomiting, loss of weight, and many other things. The best option though is exercising. It will keep Alzheimer patients feel more refreshed and calm. It also contains no side effects and chemicals. Everyone is probably afraid of this happening to them, but there are ways to prevent Alzheimer's disease. One way is for you to practice, remember, learn, and flashback to help keep a strong brain with memories and knowledge. Other ways is to have a healthy diet, physical exercise, low on stress, stop smoking, more socialization, sleep, protect your head from getting hit or hurt, less alcohol, and control your blood pressure. To anyone who has gone through this tough moment in life, you must remember that love does not come from the brain, but it comes from the heart. As long as the heart is not affected, you will always be in there and never forgotten.